What's going on everybody, it's Pelfrey, and uh, this is uh, about a seven month update. I'm probably gonna do something like this going forward. It's just easier to do a long drawn out update on what's going on with the fish tank. Um, there's been a lot happen since uh, the last full blown update on the reef tank. The, uh, one of the good things to report on is that the flatworms that were in the tank are now gone. I ended up uh, purchasing a uh, Melanoris, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Rass from Live Aquaria. And I'd actually ordered two yellow Rasses uh, and some snails to meet the $150 free shipping. And then I paid the $15 to get the uh, fish on Saturday. Um, the yellow Rasses didn't ship because they didn't have them in stock. So what I ended up doing is I just canceled the order and uh, I'm just going to place an, uh, another fish order at some point here pretty soon. So. I ended up getting free shipping out of the deal and didn't get the two rests, which I do want a yellow rest, but I'd messed up anyway and ordered two of them by mistake. So long story short, um, the Melanoris rest, I really wish it would have been a female because apparently the female has better colors, but this is a, a male and the flatworms are gone. There's, uh, I haven't seen a, any traces uh, of a flatworm in a couple of days. Matter of fact, it had, I had, I had almost completely forgot about it and then you know a couple days later it kind of dawned on me and I said let me go look at the fish tank and see what's on the glass and there was nothing so this little rasp right here has definitely done its job previously um, I had two clown fish in here one of them jumped out of the tank I do have a, a screen top on here so I did pick up another clown uh, he is smaller than the established clown and so far so good I've had not uh, I've not had any issues in that aspect so some of the snails that I picked up I believe they are turbo snails they're huge they're really big and a lot of my coral is not glued down yet just because I'm kind of waiting until I get more coral for uh, figure out my placement better but uh, the bigger snails are kind of being a pain in my butt and uh, knocking corals off of the rock so I'm having to stick my hand in the tank a little bit more than I would like matter of fact one of the torches over here got knocked off and fell on top of the uh, scalenia and it looks like it's struggling pretty bad right now. It looks like it went through a pretty bad beating. Um, like I said, I did get a screen top on here. This is uh, just a simple DIY screen top. I know you can get them from multiple vendors. Uh, decided to go on Amazon and uh, just get a typical screen top. Did some modifications to it and I'll show that to you uh, at some point later down the, later in the video. I did get my manifold ready uh, and running. The Rain 2 and one of the uh, Aquamax extra small reactors is running off of my return pump. I believe, you know, what I was trying to do was I was trying to make things a lot more difficult and try to make it look pretty inside of my, my cabinet here. And truth be told, I'm over that. I'm back to uh, the simple things in life. So it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it functions. And honestly, Nobody sees inside of this cabinet except for me and you guys. And whenever somebody does come over and they want to take a look at the fish tank, whenever I open up the cabinet, they're not going to have a clue what it's supposed to look like in here. So long story short, I was trying to do way too much. I made it super simple and it's working. Uh, the rain too has been in here for quite some time and it is growing uh, a little bit of algae and I, I'm fine with that. I do have my skimmer, uh, kind of it's not really tuned so well right now i pulled it out uh, a week or two ago and ran it in uh, vinegar and water just to get it cleaned up it's been running in here for six months so i decided i'd pull it and get it clean really need to take the return pump out and do the same with it but i'll do that at some point another thing that i did is uh, i have i've had the tools to do bubble scrubbing for quite some time i've had the pump i've had the air stones you know how I am with projects, this stuff sits on the shelf for six months or a year and then I finally get around to it. Well, I finally put the air stone in the sump and I've turned the air pump on a little bit. Uh, I haven't really done it full blown. What I need to do is I need to get the air pump plugged into the apex and get it programmed to where it runs at least a couple hours a night. So I am looking forward to that. But as far as the overall shape of the tank, everything is looking great. Whenever I came back from vacation, the uh, the tank was pretty nasty, it was pretty filthy. So I've done 
quite a bit of work as far as blowing the sand. So what I do is, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but this is a coral feeder. And I don't use it to feed corals because I don't feed corals. But what I do is I use it to get right on top of the sand and just blow water on top of the sand just to kind of sift through the sand. It just, it's easier for me, it keeps my hand out of the tank. And I also use this to blow the rocks out. So I've tried to make it a point to do that on a regular basis. The uh, anemone has walked all over this rock over here and it's finally set at this spot for, I don't know, a week or so now. But as long as it doesn't, you know, intrude on any other corals on this rock, I'm fine with it. And I guess really in the grand scheme of things, I don't have any say so over it anyway. It's going to do what it's going to do. And I have to live with it. Um, I've taken the auto feeder off of the tank right now, only because I'm running the screen top on here. I do have a new lighting mount. It shipped actually, I think Friday. So I'm going to do a little DIY light mount. Change it up from the Kessel Arms and uh, hopefully try to figure out a way where I can mount that auto feeder on top of the, the light mount. I was going to hang the lights from the ceiling, but I decided that I would try to build one. And it, it'll get keep everything off of the glass. I don't have to worry about that. And the screen top will fit just fine. So, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm feeding the tank mainly myself with both pellets and frozen food. So I don't really mind that. That's no big deal. Um, there's really not a whole lot to uh, update as far as coral growth. Everything looks fine. I'm not lost any corals, not lost any fish. Everything seems to be doing just absolutely great. The uh, yellow tang does a great job of picking off algae as it, as it sees it on the rocks. It's all day long picking at something. I did take this gyre pump off and cleaned it because I have coralline algae on various pieces of plastic on the tank and this pump has it on it a little bit now but I took this pump off cleaned it in vinegar took it apart cleaned it put it back and I'm running on anti-sync so this one will run for six seconds this one will run for six seconds and they go up to 40 percent and whenever I run it at 40 percent you can't hear them and I know that I did a video previously about how, how loud the pump was excuse me and quite honestly I've not turned them up any louder or any higher than that so I can't say whether or not the uh, noise is really going to be an issue. The, um, the, of course, the feeding ring that was on the AFS is now off of the AFS, but that's pretty well it. I did take the iPad off of the, the stand. I'm, I don't use it. It was has been dead here for like five months. And it's an older iPad, so I took it off the stand, formatted it, and it's whatever, you know. I'm not, I don't need that anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm done. With all that, I'm going to be a simple reefer, and quite honestly, that's just how I prefer it. I was, I was, like I said, trying to do too much, and quite honestly, I pretty well stressed myself out with these projects that I started and never completed or even start or had thought up and never even started. So, you know, at one point, I said, I'm done with it. I'm just going to get rid of it all and, and maybe go a different direction as far as a hobby is concerned, but you know, changing things up and going the, the simple route has definitely re-energized me as far as the reef tank is concerned. So I'll get the uh, camera off the tripod and uh, we'll take a look at the tank. So first off, we'll take a look at the top. And I did buy a long time ago the extensions for the Kessel Arms. So this one's mounted a little bit differently than that one over there. But um, they're not on the tank which allows me to put the screen top on here. And quite honestly, the overflow on the Red Sea Reefer has been pretty beneficial because on the front sides, there we go, I glued a small piece of plastic. So this makes this lid, you know, fit perfect inside of the uh, reefer. And I did notch out the plastic corner pieces on the sides for the gyre pumps, but being able to rest it on the overflow has been absolutely amazing. And I did the same on this side. I notched out a, a small piece of plastic here, super glued it to it so that the tank, or the, uh, excuse me, the lid sits flush over the tank. These are those big snails that I was talking about. I believe they're turbo snails. I'm not really sure, but they're kind of a, on my bad side right now. So we'll leave them guys alone. The anemone was opened up a short while ago. 
now it is closed so you know it is what it is the uh, various SPS pieces here are doing pretty well I would really like to see some more color on this guy and this guy but the green one is doing quite well this toadstool really just kind of does its own thing it's kind of interesting because I haven't seen it open up in like three weeks but today it's deciding to open up so you know whatever the bird's nest here was knocked off the rock and I doubt I can see but back behind one of these hammers a piece of the bird's nest had broken off and uh, you know I haven't glued any of these down and I really don't like the frag plugs in here but I'm waiting until I get more coral and then I can sort out better placement so the hammers you can see there uh, the scalemia that's where that green torch this one right there had fallen off the rock and laid on top of this guy this little recordia I'm not really a fan of these I don't really I don't guess I understand them but I bought them a long time ago and he just sits there and then the egg cans are back here in the corner because I just I don't know they don't really do much for me so kind of out of sight out of mind I did have at one point a uh, plastic frag rack back here I took it out so now I have this one ceramic frag plug or uh, rack back here and I'm really waiting to see one of the guys that I know locally so I can give him them zoas and once those zoas are gone then my tank will be uh, completely free of all zoanthids so you know it is what it is but the fish are doing well the sand probably needs to be sifted a little bit the coral beauty actually decided to come out the blue tang is always active and this is the newest clown and this is the the rest that I picked up so all of them are doing well and it's kind of interesting because the the more fish that I add the more active the tank gets before uh, the rest and the new clown were added it was you would very rarely see any of the fish especially if you walked up to the tank then I got a cleaner shrimp up under here I had one of these before and uh, really like those guys as far as the sump area is concerned it's pretty much the same you can see I scratched the crap out of my cabinet whenever I took the iPad off of there so I don't even care you know this is I only see this and I'm showing you guys otherwise doors are closed nobody sees it but various pieces down here the uh, tunes ATO is working out a lot better so what I'm doing now whenever I change water is I'm just adding a lot more water and then removing it I'm not even turning the, the uh, auto top off off so it doesn't have to prime itself <clears throat> and as far as the uh, manifold you can see here it comes up into a union and then it gets split here with a T goes up into the tank and then this T is split and it goes up to a half inch piece of PVC there and then it goes down to a true union ball valve and then the aqua max reactor is just hanging there the great thing about these is this is actually a threaded fitting whenever I initially put it on it leaked so all you got to do is take the lid off and screw uh, tighten the nut up inside of there you don't have to redo any of the plumbing or anything but you know I think it looks pretty good um, more so it's it's functioning so <clears throat> I know I'm kind of all over the place, forgive me, but I don't know if you can remember a while back, I actually cut my Red Sea Reefer, this black plastic here. So I can't pull that filter socket out of the top anymore. This one I can't pull out of the top, but this tray will slide out. I have no problem sliding that tray out. I am running a bag of carbon back here. The uh, Red, Coral, Red Sea Coral Pro salt that I bought actually came with some carbon in a bag. So I do have a bag of carbon in here. And as far as the rain two is concerned, I uh, reduced the three quarter down to half inch. And then I used the half inch, um, I think it's the NPT to push connect fitting with some half inch Murloc line and then the uh, valve to control the uh, flow of water on the rain two. And I don't know if I can get this out. I'm gonna kinda grab it better. But you can see there that the rain two is growing some algae and I think the flow is perfect there. So whenever I first put the scrubber in, it was sitting right on this wall here, but I've since moved it. I bet I can get a good, it, it, there's a piece of PVC tabletop that has been 
super glued. Yeah, I'm not gonna get a good shot. Sorry, folks. But it's been super glued to a piece of acrylic. And then the two inch PVC goes up to a two inch T. And that T has a half inch threaded fitting. And I have a NPT to push connect fitting going in there. So that's what feeds the uh, algae scrubber. Very satisfied with it. Um, Niles 120 skimmer is doing good. Like I said, I have it dialed down, but it is still skimming. I pulled the uh, cup off two days ago and cleaned it. And you can see even with it dialed down, it's still doing, it's doing its job. But like I said, that's the final product of my sump area. And I don't know if I'm gonna run anything in that reactor. Um, I did dump in the return section some pond matrix that I had in here previously. And I do have a big bag of pond matrix here. I do have, this is a piece of airline tubing that comes down. And the pump that I'm using is this little bitty pump right here. This little bitty air pump. And it works out well. It's got a suction cup. I'll stick it to the tank. The pump is now actually running. And there are teeny tiny microscopic bubbles in the tank and the pump is silent. Like I said, I need to run that over to the apex, but the bubbles are super, super tiny. You can see there that the bubbles are coming up by the return pump. I don't mind. I know a lot of people put them away from the return pump, but I'm fine with it. It's, it's no big deal. There's not a lot of big bubbles coming up but you can see the coralline algae on the overflow back there. That's probably, that's about it. I may have missed something. I know my thoughts have been all over the place. I'm now running at a, about a 20 minute video here. Let me back up. That was my chair a second ago, the bucket there. That's a full view of the Red Sea Reefer with the uh, castles on it. I'm not even gonna open up the equipment cabinet because it is absolutely horrible, but it's functioning and I'm the only one that opens it up. So with that said, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, I would really love to hear um, fish and coral that you would buy. What, what should I put in here? Um, really looking to add quite a few more fish to this tank. So leave that in the comment section below. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and uh, we'll see you on the next one.